good day. I hope you are all enjoying yourself. It's been a while. This afternoon, we are going to be looking at triad. Please, can you say it? Triad. When you are talking about triad, triad is a combination of three notes that you strike together when you are playing your musical instrument. Be it piano, be it violin, or viola, whatever instrument. So triad consists is a chord of three notes consisting of a root, a third, and a fifth. So when you are talking about triad, you know, uh, I normally tell you that music, you have mathematics there, you have physics in music, and the mathematics part, the mathematical part of music, that's what we are seeing here now. The, when you are constructing your triad, which is a chord of three notes that you play together, not that you play one note, like you play C, then you play the no. You strike the three notes together. That means you play the root, the third, and the fifth. The root, you can say the root is not one. The third plus the third plus the fifth. And that gives you a triad. Triad, triad. I hope you get that. Now, we're looking at this diagram. You know, this is a treble uh, staff. Treble staff. We have how many notes here? Can we count together? One, two, three. That's three notes that you play together. If you are playing piano, you strike it together. This is the root, which is the first note. And this note falls on what line? On line E. Okay, line E. The second note, which is the third, falls on what line? G. Okay? Then the third note, which is the fifth, falls on what line? Falls on B. Now, this is one. Let us count. Line one. We have space, right? The space should be two. We have another line. This should be three. Right? Can you see? Root, third, then we have another space, four. Okay? Now we have another line, five. Okay? That means we have one, space, two, line, three, space, four, line, five. So we have the root position, the first one, plus the third note, plus the fifth note. So that's how we arrived at uh, this definition. Triad is a chord of three notes consisting of a root, the first one, number one, a third, can you see now, and a fifth. So I hope if any, if someone asks you, what is a triad? I, I believe you can explain vividly, you know, what a triad is and how you can prove how you get how we get this now we have different triad we have divisions of triad and they have been divided into two places the first one is primary triad primary triad and the second one is secondary triad the first one is what primary triads and the second one is secondary triad and now, primary, major, you could, we can call it major, you can just call it something that is paramount. You know, you can't do without this triad. Any song in the world, maybe Indian, bring Indian song. So far, you, you know this triad. These triads are three notes called, which are built on the degrees of tonic. You know what tonic is, right? Like do, okay? Subdominant. You know what subdominant is? Like fa and dominant. So, okay, you know, we have tonic, which is do. We have subdominant, okay, which is fa. And we have dominant, which is so. No, no, no. 
Yeah, 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 far. Which is so, okay? Now, this tonic, when you want to play it on your trial, that will be do me so. Now this one will be fa la do so ti re. Okay? Now, do you get that? When you construct your scale, okay? Let's start with the tonic. Tonic is do. Then, next to supertonic, mediant, subdominance, right? I hope you are following me. Dominant, submediant, leading notes, and the higher tonic. Now, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? The first one, which is the tonic, that's our tonic, okay? That's the first triad. The root position, then the third, you have your do, me, you have your fifth, so, can you see now? That is a tonic triad. Tonic triad. Why do we call it tonic triad? Because it starts with do. I hope you get that. Okay? Now, if you want to get your subdominant, which is fa, la, do, fa, la, do. Okay? We have to do the same thing, the same calculation. Okay. Now, this is subdominant, right? You take your subdominant as your first note, which is the root, then followed by the third. Let's assume this is one now. Okay. Let's assume this is our first one, subdominant tonic. This is our first one, one. Two, three, three, four, five. So you have a la do. That is your sub dominant. So you apply the same method to get your dominant triad. Okay. So, like I said, any song in the world, be it Indian or Japanese songs. German song, German folk songs, any, even the Yoruba folk songs too. Once you can play this triad, you follow them. But now we have the secondary triad. This secondary triad is, 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 we can call it minor. But it's, all the secondary triads are not minor. You can have minor, you can have diminished, you can have augmented, you can have, uh, different triad. They all falls in this secondary. But this primary, you can't do without. This primary is basic, basic. Now, these secondary triads are triads that are built on second degree, third degree, sixth degree, seventh degree. What do we mean by first, second, third, and sixth, seventh degree? You know? Let's assume our do, re, mi, we have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, okay? This is the first degree, right? Second degree, right? This is the third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree, sixth, seven, and we have eight, okay? So the secondary triads, which are consist of three notes, don't forget three notes. Your first note will be your root, the next note will be your third, and the next note, the last one will be your fifth. So now I built on second. So that means they are built on, let's say, this second. And what is the technical name of this second note? It is called supertonic. Do you remember supertonic? Okay. Supertonic. Now, this supertonic, you bring this one. Just let's see this as our root position. Root. The next one, you know, just count one, two, three. That's the third, right? Which falls on far, right? Then you bring this one as your third. Then just count one, two, uh, three, four, five, right? This will be your fifth. 
Okay, now looking at this now, this is in second degree. That means you have re fa la. Okay, you do the same thing to this third, you know, sixth and seventh. So that's how we get all this. But just know, you know, sometimes in mathematics they tell you two plus two. You don't argue, you just accept it like that. Two plus two is equal to four. Now, just know that our primary triads are notes, three notes called that are built on tonic, subdominant, and dominant. And I've showed you how we got this tonic, subdominant, and dominant. And now these are the secondary, and these are built on second degree, okay, third degree. That means you take your third degree here as your first. This is me as your root position. Then the third one will be one, two, three, me so three, four, five, me so three. That is on third. Now the sixth, of course, you do the same thing. You take uh, this one as your root, third, you know, followed by the fifth. So that's that. So I have a drawing here that displays uh both the primary triads and secondary triads. Now, when you look at this, you know, this is a staff, a treble staff. I believe you can all uh, identify the lines and spaces. Okay, this falls on what line? This is a larger line below, right? This is C. So this is the first one. Of course, we said primary triads are tri three notes that are being constructed on what? on the degrees of first degree, fourth and fifth. Eh? First, the tonic, subdominant and dominant. Tonic, subdominant and dominant. These are primary triad. And when you look at the secondary triads, they are built on second, you can call it supertonic, median, okay? We have uh, submedian, leading notes. Okay, and you, of course you have the higher tonic. In fact, so let us put this higher tonic so that you know, because it is part of tonic two. So let's leave it this way, second, third, sixth, and seventh. So that's that. Now we now have types of triad. You know, we've discussed the division, how the triads are being divided. They are into two categories the primary and secondary. Now, under this primary and secondary, we now have the their types. Now, we have major triad, we have minor. Under the primary triad, you can also have minor triad too. We have augmented triad based on what you are constructing, but it, it is not for you, actually. But just know that we have major triad, we have minor triad, we have augmented triad, we have diminished triad. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.